sin will leave you empty. You'll come up short. You'll come up desiring. You'll come up with no peace, no contentment, no rest. You'll come up with no hope. And we live in a day and time where when you look around, that's an evident fact. The suicide rate that's going on right now. You look into people's eyes. You talk to people. They're hopeless. They have the burdens of the world. They have the cares of the world. And everything is the weight that just sets upon them. Maybe tonight you're sitting where you're at, standing where you're at, whatever be your situation, and you feel like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders and no way to relieve it. Let's look what happened to this lady. She took and heard of Jesus. Who's Jesus? She'd heard that he had healed the sick, cleansed the leper, cast out demons, calmed the storm, even raised the dead. This same Jesus, in her mind, had become her last resort. She'd gotten down to the point that she exhausted everything, but yet one avenue left. The man that she heard walking among the people, healing the sick, casting out demons, calming the storm, even raising the dead, and the dreaded disease, leprosy, that there was no cure for, he even cleansed those people. There was something different about this man. There was something different about this man than the physicians that she'd been to, than the friends she trusted in, that the people she surrounded herself with spent her money to. There was something different about him. He was doing these things and accomplishing these things. And his fame was going abroad and spreading. The good news of Jesus Christ was going forth and letting people know that there was hope, that there was healing, that there was life before, after death, that there was resurrection in the dead. And she said, there's something different about him. And she come down to the place to say, if I could just make my way to him and come into that situation where I could just touch the hem of his garment... I would be made whole. I would be cleansed. I would be set free from this disease that has me in a hopeless situation. You know, this Jesus that she saw, that she heard about, that she knew about from other people's sources, that she may have even witnessed the miracle. Her situation was that as she was cast out. She was unclean in their eyes. In people's eyes around her, she was unclean, unfit to be associated with them. She had to keep her distance. She was not allowed to touch nobody. By the law, she had to stay back and keep her distance. Maybe you're like that. Maybe you feel isolated. You've been rejected. You've been cast out. And you've been looking and searching, but yet everybody that you've turned to Sticks an arm out. Says, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Stay back. Get away. You're not fit. You're not worthy. You're unclean. But yet, you've heard of Jesus, or maybe you've never heard of Jesus. Maybe you don't know who I'm talking about, who I'm preaching about, who the Bible speaks of, and this man that raised the dead and healed the sick and cleansed the lepers, calmed the storm. Guess what? He's still the same Jesus, but there's one exception to it now. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords because he died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he holds the keys to death, hell, and the grave. He's above it all. And the only hope that you have and that I had was in Jesus Christ. And she made her way to him and touched the hem of his garment and immediately she was made whole and her blood dried up And her life was restored. She was made whole, made complete. Everything changed at that moment when she touched Jesus. But yet in her life there was fear because at that moment that Jesus felt virtue or power go out of him, he turned around and said, who touched me? And his disciples are sitting there saying, Jesus, how can you ask who touched you? Everybody's thronging you. Everybody's pressing. Everybody's moving up against you. How can you say who touched me? Why would you say who touched me? He said, because virtue, power has gone out of me. And see, when Jesus touches you or touches an individual, he doesn't do it in secret. There was two things that had to take place. This lady had faith in him that if she just touched his garment, she would be made whole and made complete and be well. But see, she just had a had a knowledge about what he was doing and what he was capable of. And she didn't feel like she could have a relationship with him, be fit to to associate with him, be able to talk with him, be able to stand even in his presence 
Because she crawled up and touched the hem of his garment, yet she felt unworthy. She was scared based on the law. She was scared of those around her, fearing that they would kill her, stone her. Because by law, she should not have done what she did. So fear gripped her, but yet Jesus turned around. He wanted to establish a few things. He wanted to make a few things clear. Nobody is so unclean that he will not touch you. There's nobody that is so far gone and so far wasted that he cannot deliver you and heal you and cleanse you and make you whole tonight. See, I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what your circumstances is. 